Hello. Welcome to Living a Simple Life. Today, I, I thought perhaps I would talk about how, where does one begin to declutter, to minimize, to start cleaning out our possessions? Where does one start to do that? And again, my way is not the only way to do it, but I'll just give you my, my, my perspective, my, my opinion on where to start. I think it's great if one can start with their clothing. Clothing is a major, um, it's not only an expense, but it's an accumulation. We, we have, we usually have a lot of clothing because, um, it's just the thing that people in America seem to do is buy a lot of clothing. <laughs> when I went through my clothing originally, before I moved here into my little cottage, I, um, I went through it very carefully. First, what I suggest that you do is that you take a piece of paper and a pen and you write down how many outfits you feel you need in your life. Now, everybody's different in the area of where some people work and they have to wear a certain dress code. Some people work at home on the computer so they can wear anything they want. So keep that in mind when you're making your list. If you need a certain outfit to go to work, then if you work three or four or five days a week, then perhaps you need those five outfits. I'm not sure. Maybe you need three outfits that so you can kind of sw switch things around. Um, but anyway, you're gonna come up with the number of outfits that you need. For me, I work at home on the computer. So I needed, probably I do my laundry a couple times a week and that's another thing to keep in mind is how often do you get to do your laundry? We're living in this little 293 square foot cottage. Um, I had to give up having my own washer and dryer. And that was probably really hard because I was used to having my own. But on the premises, 10 steps away, outside of my cottage, there's a little building called the laundry room. And there are two washers and two dryers there. And I never have to wait for them. They're always available and they're free. So it's a good deal. But I do my laundry twice a week. So I have six, Pairs of pants that I wear in the winter, like long jeans. And I have matching shirts. I have this um, black shirt is three quarter sleeve is my, is my winter, is my colder weather outfit. And warmer weather outfit is the same shirt, but short sleeve. And instead of long jeans, it's short jeans. And in the summer I have nine outfits because I just happened to accumulate that many. Um, so I, I do my laundry a little less. And in the winter, I have six pairs of pants and matching shirts, and I do my laundry twice a week. So that's the first thing you need to do is you need to write down how many outfits you need. Now, sometimes once a year, I may go to the funeral home. So I have to have the proper outfit for that. So I, I, I usually wear a blazer and a skirt and a shirt. So I have a colored shirt and black pants, black skirt and blazer. So I have, a, I have an option. So I have a summer dress and I have a winter dress and I keep those in the closet. And I also said before when I was talking about what I have in my closet is I have, I live in Maine and we have cold weather, warm weather, a little colder than warm, like spring and fall, the weather's different than winter and summer. So I have the uh, the, the um, jackets and coats that I need, but I only have one of each. So that's how I, I handle that part. But again, go back to your list, make a list of all the outfits that you need that you truly would wear. And after you've done that, you go through your clothing. So you go through, you put all your clothing out of your drawers, out of your closet, on the bed or on the floor, in a room where you can shut the door and put a full length mirror. You go through your clothing and when you know something, you're holding a piece of clothing in your hand and you know you're not gonna wear that ever. You don't know why you kept it. You get rid of it. You either bring it to a nonprofit group or you donate it to a group home or whatever it is that you give your clothing to. You put it in the in the donate pile if it's in good shape. If it's not, it goes in the trash. And that's how you start. 
a lot of people have a hard time starting to do this work. So that's where I would start. That's where I did start when I moved here. So you go through all your clothing. When you see something, you know, you got to also figure out what colors look good on you. What fabric do you like on your skin? And when you go through your clothing, you just toss out the ones that are, you know, rough on your skin and uh, colors that you know don't make you look good. Like for me, yellow look, makes me look sick. I mean, it makes me look pale. It doesn't look good. Whites, I used to be able to wear whites when I had black hair, but now that my hair is white, I get lost in white, too much white. So I don't have any clothing with that color. And if I did, I just got rid of them. So go through your clothing and the ones that you're not sure of, try them on. If they're too tight, if they're too loose, you know, get rid of everything that doesn't perfectly fit size-wise, color-wise, fabric-wise, and it's according to your list of things that you need. The rest of it, get rid of it. And it could take you three or four hours to do this, maybe even more, depending on how much clothing you've accumulated over the years. So I challenge you to start to declutter, to minimize with your clothing. Then after you've done, you've done your clothing, you, you do your underwear, you do your your gloves, your scarves, your hats, your, um, your, your socks, um, all the other stuff. And then after you've done all of that, you go to your jewelry, if you have jewelry, and you sort out what you want to keep, what outfits you have matching, if you, that's what you do with your jewelry or the piece of jewelry that you absolutely love. Like you might notice that I'm wearing the same earrings in several videos because I have a few pairs of earrings that I love and I wear them and I tend to wear them a few days, you know, several days actually in a row. And then I say one day, oh gee, I should change my earrings. Since I make my own jewelry, I have had a lot of jewelry, but I gave up a lot of it because I don't need it. So it, that was my decision. If you love jewelry, keep it. But also go through it and see what you do use and what you don't. Sometimes family members would love to have something or if they have a, 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 a you know, like a good memory to them, then you want to, you might want to share them with someone that has the same memory with you. So that's how I would suggest that you would start doing this living simple in a way that minimizes stuff that you don't need. And it really feels freeing when you can actually go through, you know, your possessions and get rid of stuff. And what I normally do is I put them in shopping bags. Now, when I did my first, you know, my, my clothing, I had, um, I didn't use shopping bags because I had probably four to six huge green trash bags. I don't know why I kept all that clothing, but I did and I got rid of it. So that was my first, but now when I get rid of things, I have a shopping bag. I put the stuff I want to get rid of in there. I put it in the trunk of my car. And before I go to the place that I donated to, I just go through it a second time, make sure I want to give that stuff up. And usually I do, and I just go and do it. So that's my two cents about starting to minimize and simplifying your life. I hope it was helpful. And please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.